Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn what all can you do on a board in Jira. So to get started, I'll access one of the board. So go to the board's drop down and click on any of the board available. So I'll select Scrum board for MOP project. And here you can see the columns listed on in that particular board for MOP project. So there is to do in progress and done. You can drag and drop issues. So for example, you are the developer in the project and you started working on MOP 39, then you can drag and drop it to in progress. Um, and if a particular issue has been completed, then you can change it to done. So it will automatically change the status of that particular issue to closed or done. The other operation available is we can go to the backlog for that particular board and will show you the issues that have been taken up in the particular in active sprint. So here you can see sprint four is the active sprint. Um, and then below that, it will show you the backlog, which is actual backlog that you might be able, you might be picking up in further sprints of your project. You can see versions, if versions are tagged and epics available. In, on the board itself. Other operations of, uh, possible are you can select the issues. So for example, I can select issue from the backlog and you'll see the view of the issue. You can resize the detailed issue section here. You can estimate the issue from backlog itself, from board itself. So go to the estimation and click on the estimate you can put the story points, so for example, five story points for that and save it. And you'll see that estimate, that number, a story point number has been updated here in the backlog as well. Other thing is you can update the description from backlog itself. You can add comments, attachments, and create subtasks from the backlog itself, from the MOP board backlog. Right. The other operations available are you can edit the issue so it will open the edit window so for example you want to have more fields which are not available in this detail view so you can edit issue and it will open the edit template and you can edit other details so for example due date original estimate and, and other comments etc the other operation available is you can assign this particular issue to someone in the project team so for example you are a scrum master and you're planning this print, then you can do the estimate and then directly you can assign to a particular member of this print. The other operation available is log work. So if someone is working on that particular issue in active sprint, then they can log work whatever number of hours or number of days they have spent on that particular issue, they can log work on that. Then you can send the issue at the top or bottom. You can create Zephyr test case for that if you have um, Zephyr plugin installed, obviously. Then you can attach files. You can watch, stop watching. You can link, delete. And then there are uh, many more actions available from the drop down. So you can see the actions, all the actions that are possible on that particular issue from the board itself. So other view. Our other operation board is uh, the active sprints. So you can see what columns are available on a particular board. And depending on what work or who is allocated the task in the particular sprint, he can move that task to from to do to in progress to done. The other operation available is reporting, which will give you the reporting of all the issues that are planned in that particular sprint. Reporting is overall a project activity, but it's available on a sprint by sprint basis. So you'll be doing it for each sprint. So that is the third operation or um, another operation that is available for you to do on the boards. So that is pretty much all about um, what operations or what you can do on boards. Thank you.